Okay, hey guys, I am gonna do a gameplay video of my spec that is pretty damn budget at the moment. Just a regular plateau, nothing special. Uh, since the discussion video thing I made, I bought a new chest. So. That's a chest, it's got like a hundred more ES and some cold resist. Everything else I believe is the same, yeah. Um, and otherwise, yeah, so I'm still a little uncapped on my lightning, a little uncapped on fire. What I have these for. Anyway. So um, yeah, it's still working out pretty damn well. I've been running uh, 77 maps the past few days with my friend and I do all the carrying so it's pretty much entirely up to my spec and it's yeah it's working out pretty well I think with him though he gives me like my power charges and the auras um, I have what like 20k DPS or something and right now I have almost 12 by myself So yeah, this is, um, yeah, I mean, it's still surprisingly durable, all things considered, given I am abyssing it up with massive physical extra damage taken. There's still a bit of room for improvement on my ES. I could buy a new shield for, you know, maybe 20 chaos or so, maybe an exalt and gain another 100. Which is ideally what I'd like to do. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, you could go much more expensive gear and become much more tankier with this spec. And it might be what I end up doing. And I keep forgetting that there's no cursing in this map. Ultimate Strike, still pretty damn uh, MVP, a single target. So yeah, I just run up and stab that stuff whenever a single mob needs killing. Use it for bosses too, in general. Bosses, exiles, tankier things. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with my 12k ST DPS. Show you my molten strike in a second. Thirty-three point eight. That's on a four link. And it's pretty effective. So I kill all the bosses in um seventy-seven, seventy-six maps. So not too much problem. The hardest one is pretty much um, the academy boss because he does his tornado things, which are mostly. I think entirely physical, and given that I take way more physical damage, it kinda hurts. So I have to sometimes be a little careful on him, but it's pretty manageable. I did an Azira run the other day. Um, I did kill her, I died once or twice on the lead up, but to actually 
do at Ziri reliably, I think I would need the stun immune necklace. Because that's the only real problem there. I occasionally... You get stunned by spells, doing lots of damage, and you, you, know, you get clipped and then... Just hit again and again. Or desynced or some shit like that. And it makes it really... Really uh, tough and in some cases unbearable. I'm not particularly keen on wearing that neck yet because my neck gives me a fair amount of, uh, of my DPS. So I'll probably put it on once I can uh, upgrade my gems to 20 quality, which will give a sizable DPS boost. All in all, yeah, I'm actually uh, pretty happy I managed to take down at Ziri because my entire gear set costs maybe like three exalts. But the abysses I also found myself. So yeah, um, it's it's a pretty damn budget spec. Not hardcore viable. I mentioned that before. So obviously a non-curse immune map. It's a bit quicker on the other stuff. Crit weakness does a lot of work. Makes things uh, far squishier. easy map though, but in general it's going okay. Only really die on the super hard stuff when I'm tired, not paying attention, etc. So it's pretty rare that I die. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe try the spec out yourself, and uh, thanks for watching.